technicalities. Joining me to discuss the procedure is uh, Mr. Matthew Crocker. He is a consultant neurosurgeon at St. George's Hospital. Welcome to you, you. Uh, indeed. Let's just uh, look at this uh, process. Uh, and uh, according to Dr. Canavera, the first stage will involve the patient and donor's bodies being cooled down uh, so the brain cells don't die during the operation. Uh, and then uh, the neck uh, will be partially cut through uh, and uh, the blood vessels uh, will then be connected uh, to the other body with tubes. So far, so simple? Uh, so simple, yes. I mean, I, I haven't done any of these myself uh, recently. Um, but in theory, the, uh, every, every section has um, a grounding in um, science and in a certain amount of medical practice. So um, the, pra the practice of um, cutting or excluding blood vessels that supply the brain from the circulation and then um, restoring that circulation temporarily to the brain with tubes is very well recognised. And what do you gain from lowering the temperature? Again, lowering the temperature of the whole body and hence the brain um, to uh, between 10 and 20 degrees, usually around 15 to 70 degrees, is a very well recognised technique using, uh, for, used for complex uh, neurosurgery or cardiovascular surgery in which there is an expectation that the brain will be starved of its blood and oxygen supply for a substantial period. Okay, well, let's move on then because the next stage uh, is that uh, the spinal cord is cut uh, with a uh, very sharp knife uh, to minimise damage and the donor head is then moved uh, onto the recipient's body and the spinal cord is fused together with a substance called uh, uh, polythylene glycol which is hope will repair the joint. I mean, I can just about remember my organic chemistry. That doesn't sound like a particularly sophisticated substance to do that. Well, it's, it, it's a form of glue. And again, yeah. the idea of cutting the spinal cord sharply rather than bluntly has um, a little uh, medical support in terms of the fact that the only successful or the uh, well-recognized success with spinal cord injury yeah. surgery came from a man who had a stab injury rather yeah. than a blunt injury to the cord. I mean, I've got to ask you, at this point, someone is having their head cut off, which... Uh, so they are most people would normally define as uh, death, really. I mean, I mean, is it okay to cut someone's head off for a doctor to do it? Well, I'm not sure any of this is really okay, um, and it requires a little more thought, doesn't it? But, uh, yes, your, your point is entirely reasonable. At what point one dies, I believe your ethicist might ha have a, a consideration about that. Um, that, but the heart is routinely yeah. stopped in open heart surgery, of course, in cardiac surgery, yeah. that's no longer um, unusual. So this is the next step, putting together the muscle and the blood vessels. I mean, has this ever been done on this scale? On this scale? No, I, I'm sure it has. Yeah. And then uh, uh, we move on uh, and uh, the body after the operation is successful is kept in a coma for several weeks uh, to prevent people moving and presumably so everything fuses together. Yeah, I presume. I, I mean, I, one can uh, re, re, uh, reattach or screw together the spinal column and, and, and that's done very regularly for injuries and so forth. And that, those people do not need to be kept in a coma. The idea of this, I presume, is to allow uh, the gluing of the spinal cord to take, to take root and so forth. Um, but again, that's, that, that is very speculative to, to be... I mean, we have seen arms and legs reattached, haven't we? Uh, of course, yes, many times, yeah. But that's a lot simpler than presumably doing a spinal cord. And well, the, the spinal cord is, 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 of course, to state the obvious, the central issue here. And an, an arm and leg um, have uh, nerves, have arteries, veins and muscles and bones. Um, but the issue here is the fact that someone with a spinal cord which is functioning, has a neurological function, however difficult, um, is facing yeah. having that completely removed with surgery.